it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for August 2024. So on August 19th, we have our full moon taking place in Aquarius energy. It is going to reach its peak potency at 27 degrees, 15 minutes. And that's super important. We're going to touch on that in a second. And we are reaching its peak potency at 2.25 p.m. And of course, Eastern Standard Time. So I have a lot to unpack. But first of all, before it slips my mind, the reason why 27 degrees, 15 minutes is so important, the connection that we're going to make right now is because Uranus, the great awakener, who basically gives us new visions, new aha moments, new epiphanies, Uranus rules over the Aquarius energy that we're having the full moon in. And Uranus is going to go retrograde September 1st, along with Pluto retrograding back into that Capricorn energy. Another topic, another theme for another day. Uranus is going to go retrograde at this exact degree. But of course, he's in Taurus energy. So what does that tell us? Well, first of all, let's just talk about the fact that this full moon is a super moon. It's in close proximity to the Earth. So there's an extra oomph there. Feels like there's, you know, moon vibes on steroids. There is this element where we're connecting the dots. This is what this Aquarius energy is going to do for us under this full moon. Again, Uranus is like a lightning bolt of intelligence, of insight, of just vision, if you will. The Aquarius energy very futuristically focused on setting us free, kind of, you know, coming up with some solutions, some aha moments, some light bulb moments on what we could do differently in order to align with the new goal, new vision, new dream. So we're going to have all of this illumination, if you will, on a higher realm of awareness, a higher realm of consciousness. We are going to have new perspectives emerge, especially as we look back, because again, five planets currently retrograde. We're looking back, we're reflecting, we're reviewing, we're replaying some things in our mind because we're trying to see it from a higher perspective. We're trying to give it a deeper meaning. We're trying to give it a deeper purpose. We're trying to make sense of things. So how does this tie into the Iranian energy that I just mentioned? Whatever insight, whatever aha moment, whatever epiphany, whatever new lens, new perspective is coming at us under this full moon in Aquarius, we will be taking action upon cups come September 1st when Uranus goes retrograde at this 27 degree, 15 minutes of Taurus energy. Taurus energy rules over our physical realm. And because we have all these planets in a retrograde, we're not in a time to take action as of yet. That is coming at us, especially as we move into September. Now, this full moon in Aquarius, it has a lot of different astrology taking place under the influence of this quote unquote semi normal full moon. I say quote unquote because none of the moons as of late have been normal in any kind of capacity. We have T squares popping off, giving us this pressure cooker type of energy, like we're just gonna blow up, like we're just gonna explode. Hopefully, that's going to happen in the mental realms, in the higher realms of intelligence, really helping our brain fire off and spark off and new neural pathways, new insights, new visions, new goals, new dreams, new ways to solve the problems that we've been banging our head against a wall about, okay? But pressure cooker energy nonetheless. The pull to the past and the pull to the future is definitely making us dance, definitely making us cha-cha-cha. Again, we're still under the reverberatory effects of Mars and Jupiter's conjunction in Gemini energy here this past Wednesday, again, furthering the divide, furthering the pressure in the mental plane, furthering the intensity on the choices, the decisions, the path, the directions that we have to go from here. And under this particular full moon in Aquarius, not only are we still in that Mars Jupiter vibe, but now we are watching Saturn square Jupiter. This takes us back to 2020. This is the first quarter, let's call it crisis cycle in the Saturn Jupiter meetup that took place December of 2020. Saturn, of course, is karma, roles, responsibility, systems, structures, foundations, He's retrograde in this Pisces energy, collapsing the old way of life, the old belief system, the old way of doing things. 
And we are building new boundaries, a new parameter, a new framework on what we want to be building towards. Again, new goal, new vision, new dreams. However, Jupiter is also the great expander. But if we don't have the belief system to actually encourage and support us in thinking that our goals, our visions, our dreams are actually achievable, then they're not going to happen. This is pressure on the mental plane to rewire our brain in the most positive, optimistic type of inner dialogue and narrative in order for us to actually align mind, body, and soul with the vision, the goal, the dreams that our heart, Leo energy, is now asking us to pursue. There's a lot going on. Of course, if you want to jump over to my Patreon, there are some astral classes that are going to kind of talk about this full moon in Aquarius, what this pivot point, this breakdown versus breakthrough is going to mean for us. Specifically, there's already an astral class talking about the Mars Jupiter conjunction. There is an astral class coming about the Saturn square Jupiter under the influence of the full moon. But of course, there's all kinds of resources out there to help you align with this energy. Download the moon guide, listen to your Zodiac forecast. It all helps. One thing that I think is super interesting is when we take a look at the elemental energy profile, we are dominant in air. So this is an illumination of the mind. We are piecing things together, okay? We've dumped out the box of the puzzle pieces. We've taken the time to flip them right side up. We've taken the time to kind of, you know, get the border pieces into one grouping, push the inerts to one side, we're getting organized. But when we start putting those puzzle pieces together, suddenly we start seeing more and more what the end goal, the end picture, the end vision is actually going to look like. And for those of you that are like, well, you just look at the box for that. Okay, that's good. But you actually have to piece it together, put it into action before the puzzle is actually complete. You may have the vision in your mind or this case on the puzzle box, but until you put those pieces right side up and you join them in the correct fashion that kind of, you know, illuminates the greater, grander picture, the puzzle is merely a picture on the box. Thus, your vision is only an idea in your mind. You have to snap the pieces together in order to actually make something come to life. So of course, with five planets in a retrograde, we are reflecting back the answers to the questions that we have about where we're going into our future, what we want to build, what we want to do, what we want to create, what we want to pursue. The answers are found in the past mostly because we're using the past and what it is that we no longer want to experience, what it is that we never want to experience again as a framework on what it is that we now want to do, we now want to pursue. We are writing the wrongs, if you will. We're flipping the script. We are using certain situations that we are now having new perspectives, new epiphanies upon in order to help us build our new checklist. This is part and parcel going to be a major epiphany just because that's what the Aquarius energy helps us to do, especially in relation to the two fold moons that we had back to back in that Capricorn energy. That was the power struggle. That was the obstacle. That was the challenge. That was the unexpected structures, foundations that totally just fell off and fell apart. We were in a state of chaos. We couldn't see the forest past the trees. Now, this Aquarius energy is giving us one of those like flashlights, the million dollar candle flashlights or whatever they call them, that basically will light up the whole freaking forest. Okay. So we're going to see a much bigger, broader, wider perspective of a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose to some of the struggles that we just survived. That in turn is going to help us release the emotion from our physical bodies of this present moment that we have been just banging our head against a wall about. Why is it trapped? Why can't we let it go? Why am I fixated on it? When am I ever going to be able to forget about whatever situation, whatever circumstance essentially fell apart around the solstice energy back at the beginning of cancer season? So this particular Aquarius energy is lighting things up in a big way, illuminating what needs to go, what needs to be released. And spoiler alert, has a lot to do with the way you think, a lot to do with the way that you see yourself, see the vision for your future self, and actually have an inner dialogue and a narrative supported enough to actually put the pieces together to get you from where it is that you're at to where it is that you desire to be. 
So there's a lot going on to say the least. Now, if you do download the moon guide, which of course I am going to encourage you to do, you're going to see all the, let's call them pros and cons of this particular moon. Now, again, like I previously mentioned, we have two T squares. So two particular pressure cooker energies, especially in analyzing past relationship dynamics and matters of the heart, where we had a lack of boundaries, where we weren't standing in our power, and how we're going to change that moving on and moving forward. We have, again, the square between Saturn and Jupiter, major astrology event, major, let's call it pressure point as well, because we're going through growing pains. We have to make sure that the mind, the body, the soul are in alignment before we can come up with the path, the plan, and strategy, before we can engage the physical body to take action, to make moves, but put this piece together, this puzzle is coming together slowly but surely. And under the influence of this, this particular moon event, it's setting us up for eclipse season. Yep, we are moving into eclipse season. As I previously mentioned, go ahead, take a listen to the year ahead reading part two that I put out there at the beginning of the year. We'll give you a little bit of an understanding of what it is that we're about to move into but this full moon in aquarius is giving us the insight the vision needed in order to free ourselves from our current struggles our current restrictions especially where the mental plane is concerned and this is going to catapult us again break down before the breakthrough pivot point catapult us into a new path where we are going to start rearranging, restructuring, not only our inner realm to kind of get focused on the goal, on the vision, on the dream, but moving into September, we will have hands-on opportunities to restructure, redesign, rearrange what our physical realm actually looks like. <laughs>